Hello everyone, it's me Jamie. Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, you guys will know that today we're going to be talking about the remainder of my most anticipated 2023 releases. This video is one of my favorite videos to do at the beginning of every year. So of course I'm going to do another one halfway through the year for the releases that are coming out in the second half. So July to December. I love doing my research. I love seeing what books are coming out so I can be prepared when I'm going book shopping or when I just I know what's coming out it's just so fun it's just so fun to look at potential book releases I feel like I have three separate hobbies when it comes to books obviously reading them buying them and researching them this video encompasses that third one so I hope that you guys get some really good new information about books coming out at the end of the year and yeah I guess stay tuned because I have a lot to talk about and I hope you enjoyed the video so because this video is gonna be really long Let's just get straight into it. The first release I would love to talk about is Business or Pleasure by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This book is coming out on July 4th and it is an adult contemporary romance. I've read a Rachel Lynn Solomon book before and I enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun and this one sounds really up my alley. This novel is basically about a ghostwriter who is writing a memoir for a C-list actor. They unknowingly have this like one night stand they don't know who the other one is and then obviously this business deal comes up and things get really awkward however their hookup was really bad according to our female main character she's like this guy doesn't know what he's doing when they get a bit friendly and she kind of references how not great in bed he was he is determined to get sex lessons from her so while they're trying to keep things really professional they also are kind of having like sexual education at the same time and she's like just teaching him how to be a better sexual partner it sounds really fun really hilarious and silly i think this will definitely be a really fun time the opportunities for humor in this novel it sounds like there's a lot so i cannot wait to read this one it looks really good next coming out on july 6th we have a very lively murder this is by katie watson and i believe it's a murder mystery novel this is basically set on the film set for a series of detective movies I think like sherlock holmes you know like it's a character who has been played by multiple different actors our three actresses who have played this detective come together to try and solve this murder that's happening on this film set it sounds so fun i love books about famous people about movies it's genuinely one of my favorite genres is like books about movies so i cannot wait to read this one i love a murder mystery especially when it's got kind of cozy vibes and this one is described on the goodreads page as a cozy mystery so i'm really excited next on july 11th we have forget me not by julie soto first of all the absolute hotties on the cover can we talk about it but this is a contemporary second chance romance i believe our main character is a wedding planner she's currently working on this really high profile wedding that would kind of make her career and her grumpy ex-boyfriend is the florist they have to work together for the first time in ages and things kind of spark up again i love a second chance romance so this one looks so fun i love weddings as well this just feels like it's got everything that i love about a romance so again super excited to read this one next we have all night pharmacy by ruth medifsky this is coming out on july 11th and i believe it is a contemporary literary fiction it's all set in la and i believe our narrator has a night of just drugs and chaos on the night of her graduation and she wakes up and her sister is missing it definitely sounds super weird super literary and i'm really excited to read it i love novels about like unhinged women that also have an element of mystery about them so i'm really keen to give this one a go also on july 11th we have those we drown by amy goldsmith this is actually a debut novel and it is a ya horror novel we follow our main character who is doing a semester at sea so her and her best friend are on a boat the entire time and then one day her friend goes missing and she's wondering if there is something a bit darker lurking in the depths of the ocean i love novels about the ocean and sea creatures and sea monsters especially when it's pretty horrific so i cannot wait to dive into this horror i know that i'll have absolute chills next we have a twisted love story by samantha downing i love samantha downing so much my lovely wife which is one of her novels one of her thrillers is one of 
of my favorite thrillers of all time, so best believe I'm highly anticipating this one. This one comes out on July 18th. The Goodreads synopsis for this book is pretty vague, but I believe it's about a young couple who get together, everything's really romantic, and then things start going really, really wrong really quickly, but they kind of have to like patch things up because they have a common enemy. So I believe there's a lot of mystery surrounding this novel. I'm so excited to read this. I don't even care that the Goodreads synopsis is vague and I barely know what it's about. I love Samantha Downing and I will read anything she writes. So cannot wait to read this one. Next we have A Guide to the Dark by Miriam Matawi. This is being published on July 18th and I believe it's a YA thriller horror, I think. This novel is about two best friends going on a road trip. They get stuck at this pretty creepy motel and our main character keeps having dreams about her dead brother. Although when she wakes up from these dreams, He's still there. So it's very ghosty vibes. I also believe there is going to be a little sapphic romance in this novel. So I'm really excited to check this one out. I love ghost stories and I love lesbian romance. So I'm very, very highly anticipating this. Next we have Silver Nitrate by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. This is coming out on July 18th and it is a horror novel about the film industry. Love it love it so much. This is set in the 90s in Mexico City. I believe we're going to discuss gender inequality a little bit in the film industry which I absolutely love but I believe it's mostly about like curses and the occult on this film production. Honestly I kind of love that I have so many like spooky film production books coming out in 2023. So obsessed with that but Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia I absolutely loved. I really need to read more of her novels but best believe I'm going to be reading this one. It sounds amazing. Next we have None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. This is coming out on July 20th and it is a thriller by an author that I really really like. This is about two women. One is very mysterious. One runs a true crime podcast. I believe all the fates align. They end up having a very close relationship but one of these women has a very dark secret. Love books and thrillers that feature true crime podcasts. Podcasts. I don't know what it is about that trend, but it's a trend that I hope won't go away anytime soon because I really, really love it. So I, of course, cannot wait to read this book. Next, we have another thriller, and that is Everyone Here is Lying by Shari LaPena. This is a thriller set in a small town. I believe our main character is a family man, but he's having an affair. Gross. And then his daughter goes missing. So it seems like there's going to be a lot going on here. Very domestic, noir vibes. And I'm honestly here for it. Next, we have The Sun and the Voice by Gabriela Romero La Cruz. This is the first book in a new fantasy series and it's coming out on July 25th. I believe there is going to be a little sapphic romance in here and it's also heavily inspired by folklore from South America. I believe we deal with sorcery, with magic. I don't know really the whole plot but honestly all those buzzwords were all I needed to hear and I'm really excited to give this one a go and hopefully find a new favorite fantasy series. Next on August 1st we have The Art of Scandal by Regina Black. This is a contemporary romance that I believe is going to be hosting a lot of drama. We follow our main character Character who is currently married to a man who is trying to climb the political ladder and she realizes that he's cheating on her. They strike a deal for her to kind of be the trophy wife of this man while he's still like in the public eye but while this is all happening she meets this other very charming man and now they've kind of got a forbidden romance sort of vibe because she can't be seen in the public eye with another man. What on earth is she gonna do? Honestly can't wait for all the scandal that I'm sure we're gonna be seeing in this novel. It sounds really interesting like no romance I've ever read so I'm of course excited to read this one and see what happens. Also on August 1st we have Mr. Magic by Kirsten White. This is another horror about like a TV show. What is it with film sets and TV sets? I'm not complaining at all. This is about a children's TV show that tragically got shut down because of some tragic accident and now all of a sudden in the present there's no like proof that this show ever existed. There's no recordings, there's no like DVDs, tapes or anything like that and our five cast members have to come together and try and kind of like continue the legacy but I think some really horrific things start happening. Of course I'm really excited for this. It sounds so much fun. Also on August 1st we have The Museum of Human History by Rebecca Bergman. This is a debut literary fiction novel. Basically our main character is an eight-year-old girl who has been in a comatose state after nearly drowning and then all the people around her realize that this girl is not aging at all. Like physically not aging while she's in this comatose state and so I believe it's a little bit science fiction as well and we follow a quite a large 
cast of characters who are living their lives and aging around this girl who isn't. It sounds absolutely fascinating. I've never read anything like it. I love books that are kind of time loopy. I don't know if this is time loopy, but it is about a girl that's like stuck in time. So I'm really excited to read this. It sounds absolutely fascinating. Okay, this next book I feel a little bit cheeky putting in this video because I haven't even read the first one yet, so I do not know if I'm going to even love that first book. But the next book is Foxglove by Adeline Grace. This is coming out on the 22nd of August and it is the sequel to Belladonna, which is actually on my TBR for the month and I will be reading next week. So I believe next week will probably determine whether or not I actually want to read this book. But I wanted to put it on here regardless, just to put it on people's radar. Obviously, I don't know anything about the first book, so I can't say much about this one. I just know that it is a YA fantasy and it's very much like a gothic fairy tale. I've heard nothing but good things about the first book, so of course I'm excited to read read the first one and then hopefully move on to this one. Next we have a novel that looks pretty niche but like a niche that fits me and my friend group so well and that is Bored to Death by CJ Connor. This is a cozy mystery coming out on August 22nd and it's about a board game creator. I believe. Like someone who designs board games. I'm lying. It's about a man who runs a board game shop slash cafe. He also has some sort of male male romance in this novel, which I'm super excited for, but I think it's like murder mystery surrounding this like board game shop and cafe. Honestly, I literally am the biggest fan of board games. Me and my best friend Yana, we call ourselves the board game couple because we just constantly want to get people together and play board games and we're really competitive and really good at them. So of course I want to read some like board game novel. That sounds so fun. I cannot wait for this one. Next we have Together We Rot by Skylar Arden. This is coming out on August 29th and this is another YA horror. This novel is basically following our main character whose mother has gone missing. She teams up with her former best friend. He's going to help look for her mom but in exchange she has to hide him from his like cultish family. Love cults, love missing people, really excited to read this, it looks so fun. Next we have The September House by Carissa Orlando. This is coming out on September 5th and it's also a horror. This is a debut novel and it's about a haunted house so best believe I'll be eating it up. I love a haunted house story and I believe it's about this married couple who like move into this haunted house but the woman really wants to stay there and the husband is like, I'm not doing this. So very interesting. I'm really intrigued to see more about this novel and really dive in and see what it's all about. Next we have The Library of Shadows by Rachel Moore. This is coming out on September 5th and I've actually followed Rachel on Twitter for a really long time and I didn't even know that she was writing a book and then all of a sudden I saw her on Twitter and I was like, adding it to my TBR. This is a YA fantasy romance about a paranormal school. Thank you very much. I need this in my hands now. Oh my god, I'm lying. It's not even about a paranormal school. It's about the third most haunted school in the country and a student disappears. I believe there is a romance between one of the students and a ghost. Hello. Love that. So excited to read this one. I can just tell it's going to be so atmospheric. Next we have There's No Way I'd Die First by Lisa Springer. This is a YA horror coming out on September 5th and it sounds so unbelievably up my alley. I believe it's about our main character who's absolutely obsessed with horror movies. She hosts a birthday party that's horror movie inspired and then things start going really wrong and following the tropes of a horror movie. Our bestie has watched so many so she's like don't worry I've got this I'm gonna survive. Sounds so much fun. I love horror movies so I love books that like turn those horror movie tropes on their head. This sounds like it does exactly that so of course I'm keen. Next we have You Again by Kate Goldbeck. This is a romance being released on September 12th. If the last book was about exploring horror movie tropes, I believe that this one is going to be about exploring rom-com tropes just based on the cover and also the synopsis I'm getting very much when Harry met Sally because I believe this novel is about a male and a female trying to prove that men and women can be just friends and then it sparks into something more. It's giving when Harry met Sally 100%. I actually do really love that movie. That's my mum's favourite movie. It's one of my favourite rom-coms so of course I want to try and read a book that's inspired by it. The next book is Rouge by Mona Awad. This is coming 
coming out on September 12th and of course I'm really excited to read this. I recently read All's Well by Mona Award and I loved it so much and this one looks so good. I don't really know the plot all that well but I know that it's like a gothic fairy tale about a woman who is consistently chasing after youth and beauty so I feel like we're really going to be exploring the horrors of the beauty industry in this one and that is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. I have a lot to say about the impact of the beauty industry so of course I want to read a horror about it. It sounds so good and I just trust Mona Award to do this subject so much justice. So of course I'm really excited to read this one. Next I have If I Have to Be Hunted by Miranda Sun. This is coming out on September 14th and it's a YA like paranormal fantasy about a girl who can speak to ghosts. I believe there was a guy at her high school that was like really awful to her or they were just like enemies and then one day she accidentally raises him from the dead and maybe a romance sparks from there but he's a ghost. That is me just pulling things from the synopsis. It does sound really fun though and I'm excited to try this one out. Next we have How to Find a Missing Girl by Victoria Losop. This is coming out on September 19th and it's a YA mystery. It literally sounds exactly like A Good Girl's Guide to Murder but lesbians. I believe we follow our main character who is trying to create a true crime podcast because all of these girls in her small town go missing including her ex-girlfriend. I loved A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and this sounds obviously very similar but I also love reading about lesbians. So of course I want to read this. It sounds really fun and I'm excited to give it a go. The next book I'm really excited for is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. This is a YA fantasy coming out on the 19th of September and I believe it follows two rival academics who are both obsessed with this book about the Fae world. I love books about academic rivals. I love Fae stories. I've never read anything by Ava Reed before but this sounds like a really good place to start. Honestly it sounds so fun. The next book I'm really excited for is The Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic. This is by by Brianne Randall and it comes out on September 19th and I believe it's a cozy fantasy romance about witches. Our main character believes that in her family there is a curse where all the women in her family go through a really massive heartbreak in their lives. I honestly just feel like that is called being a victim of dating men but Apparently in this novel it's a witchy curse. I believe our main character's life starts to fall apart when she realizes that her grandmother has been diagnosed with a terminal illness. The guy that broke her heart is coming back to town and then her twin brother arrives home with a bunch of family secrets. It sounds like there's a lot going on in here but I love the witchy vibes so of course I'm really excited to read this one. Next we have a, another fantasy and this is After the Forest by Cal Woods. This is an adult fantasy novel coming out on September 26th and I believe it is a Hansel and Griddle retelling. I'm really excited to read this. I haven't read a whole lot of fairy tale retellings in my life but I always am really drawn to them for some reason. I just don't know why I'm not picking them up. This one sounds really really fun and of course I'm excited to read this. Fuck I'm excited to read all of these. I don't know why I keep saying that. Next we have A Haunting on the Hill by Elizabeth Hand. This is coming out on October 3rd and it is a horror novel of course. This one is about an aspiring playwright who's kind of down on her luck. She rents this really beautiful like manor to try and be inspired to write her new play, invites a whole troop of actors to this manor and then they all realize that it's haunted. I'm really excited to see like a bunch of actors in a haunted house. I don't know how they would cope with that. Like as someone who speaks to actors all the time and most of my friends are actors, my boyfriend's an actor, I know how we work. And I know that we wouldn't be able to handle being in a haunted house. So of course I'm excited for this. I'm excited for all of the tomfoolery. I can't wait. Next of course I feel like this one is a book that everyone is anticipating. It is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. This comes out on October 24th and it is the third and final installment in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I haven't read the second book yet. I'm saving it because I know this is coming out at the end of the year and I don't want to like read it too quickly and then have to wait a really long time. We're kind of nearing the second half of the year now so maybe I could pick it up next month. I don't know. But this one I'm really excited for of course. The Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy is an amazing YA fantasy series. It honestly reads like a beautiful fairy tale. We follow a prince of hearts, honestly king of my heart to be honest. And basically the first book just followed a whole series of unfortunate events and I'm really excited to continue the trilogy. So of course I'm highly anticipating this one. Next we have probably my most anticipated book for the second half of the year and that is Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake. This is also coming out on October 24th and it is an adult sapphic contemporary small town romance. Oh my god. I believe this book is going to be the last one in the Bright Falls series because 
we're kind of nearing the end of the friend group now. Like I believe Iris Kelly is the last one in the friend group that we don't have a book for. I believe this is fake dating, which is one of my absolute favorite tropes. So of course I'm super excited for that. And Iris Kelly was one of the characters in the first couple of books that I was always intrigued by. I loved every scene that she was in. So of course I'm more than excited to read her own story. I can't wait. Next we have The Rosewood Hunt by Mackenzie Reed. This is a YA mystery coming out October 31st. It's kind of giving inheritance games, but for some reason I just think this is going to be better. This follows our main character Lily, whose grandmother, who is incredibly rich, dies and then she finds out that her grandma's inheritance is completely missing and I think her and all of her like cousins and siblings have to go on this treasure hunt like slash competition to try and like win the inheritance. Do you see what I mean by like inheritance games vibes? I feel like this one would be better though especially if there is some sort of like competition element. If it's like rivals and stuff like that. I cannot wait to read this. It looks really really fun. Next on November 7th we have Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. This is the prequel to Legends and Lattes. I believe it takes place before the events of Legends and Lattes and it's basically just a cute little cozy fantasy. I actually read Legends and Lattes back in January and I thought it was just a cute, fun, cozy time. Like nothing super special, but something that I had a lot of fun with and I'm sure this will be more of the same. I believe we follow our main character from the first book, Viv, as she works like as a barbarian. It just looks fun. It just looks cute. Honestly, I'm excited to read it. I play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm a massive nerd. I'm a massive fantasy lover and especially when it's like very slice of life fantasy. So I'm keen. I'm honestly just really, really keen. Next, also on November 7th, we have Gorgeous Gruesome Faces by Linda Chang. And this is another YA horror with also, I believe, lesbian vibes. Thank God for all of the sapphic books coming out. This is set in a really brutal cutthroat K-pop idol competition. I believe our main character had a falling out with her best friend and then they end up in the same like K-pop idol competition and some horrific things start happening. It sounds really fun. So... I'm really keen to read this one. Next we have, I think a book I'm a little bit apprehensive about. I'm not sure if I'm going to love it, but I'm willing to give it a go anyway. And that is Check and Mate by Ellie Hazelwood. And this is Ellie Hazelwood's YA debut. So I'm really, really intrigued to see how Ellie Hazelwood's writing is going to translate into a YA novel. I'm really proving my nerdiness right now, but I think this really intrigues me because it's about chess players. Little known fact, I love chess. I grew up playing chess with my dad all the time. So I'm like a big chess fan. Of course I want to read about little nerdy chess players falling in love. Of course I do. I believe it's literally chess playing rivals to lovers, like an enemies to lovers vibe in a YA novel. I love that. I'm actually really excited to read this one. And finally we're on to the last book, which is another one that I am really, really hyped for. And this is Gold by Raven Kennedy, which is the final book in the Plated Prisoner series. I have yet to read the fourth book, but again, much like the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, I'm kind of trying to space it out so I'm not left like absolutely begging for this book by December. This does come out on December 7th, so I have a really long time to wait, but I'm so excited for this. This is honestly one of my new favorite like trashy bingey series that I love so much. I'm trying not to read too much on the Goodreads page because I don't want any spoilers for the fourth book or of course for the fifth book, but just know that this series is so fun. It's fantasy romance, it's fae, it's kings, it's war, it's political intrigue, while just being so immensely readable. So of course, I'm really excited for this one as well. So those are all my anticipated releases for the second half of 2023. I really hope that you guys found some really good books to look forward to. Please let me know in the comments if there were any books you hadn't heard of, what you're most excited for. If there are any books you're really highly anticipating and you haven't seen me mention please put them on my radar like I'm always looking for new releases new debut authors maybe books by authors that I've loved that I didn't know were coming out obviously I'm really excited but yeah guys again thank you so 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 much for watching of course a reminder that all my socials are linked down below so if you want to follow me on twitter or twitch or bookstagram or even my regular instagram those are all linked down in the description and also if you want extra content from me you can click on my patreon link and that will show you all of the perks if you want to join my patreon and you want a whole bunch of extra videos from me every month again Thank you so 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 much for watching i love you all thank you for spending your time with me and i will see you very very soon in the next video